so today we are going to discuss common incisions in abdominal surgery so the first incision is called the midline laparotomy it is called the midline laparotomy so the incision would be like this so this incision is called midline laparotomy midline laparotomy and this incision is basically used for various kinds of surgical procedures it's a general surgical incision then the second important surgical incision is called the upper midline laparotomy so this incision is called the upper midline laparotomy upper midline laparotomy so this incision is basically preferred in cases of perforated duodenal ulcers then the next common incision is the lower midline laparotomy so this is the midline laparotomy this is the upper midline laparotomy and this is the lower midline laparotomy lower midline laparotomy so this lower midline laparotomy this particular incision is generally used in case of malignant gynecological lesions and in case of colonic surgeries then the next incision a very important incision which is called the gridens incisions g r i d i r o n gridens incision and this incision is a incision at the macbernis point this incision is at the macbernis point parallel to the external oblique oblicus muscle and we know this incision is basically used in case of appendicectomy this incision is used for appendicectomy and this is called gridon's incision the next incision is called the lance incision this is the lance incision the lance incision this l a n z lance incision this incision is also used for appendicectomy but the difference between both incision is that lance incision has a better cosmetic appeal and there is a uh, very slight insignificant scar then coming on to the next incision this incision is called the loin incision so this is incision would be going backwards this incision is called the loin incision and this incision is used for nephrotomy loin incision for the nephrotomy another incision very important incision is the coacher's incision this incision is called the coacher's incision k o c h e r apostrophe s coacher's incision and we know this incision is used for open cholecystectomy that is removal of the gall bladder which is infected in case of cholecystitis the coacher's incision the next incision is called the double coacher's incision this would be the incision so because there are two similar lines similar to that of coacher's incision this incision is called the double coacher's incision d o u b l u double k o c h e r apostrophe s double coacher's incision and it is also called rooftop incision so double coacher's incision or the rooftop incision because it resembles the top of a roof so this particular incision is used in case of pancreatic surgery for radi radial gastric uh, gastric surgery uh, for hepatic surgeries like hemihepatectomy so this 
double coaches insertion uh, coaches insertion can be used for wide spectrum of surgical procedures